I also have made this a mistake in the past. I also have made this mistake in the past. I have tried to use both methods and the results I am getting differs. Now, what am I trying to talk about? Reason why scent leave bad, scent leave usage doesn't work for some persons and it works for some persons. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Please, if you haven't subscribed, could you please kindly click the red subscribe button? If you have subscribed, Gloria Chizu O is saying thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So today I want to talk about why scent leave baths don't work for some persons and why it works for some persons. Now, scent leave, as we all know, I just uploaded them a video now talking about ways to use um scent leave either to attract love, fortune, goodness, and all that. Scent leave, as we all know, is a very, very spiritually powerful plant created by God Almighty for man's use. There are a couple of mistakes. If you make them, you may not get the re desired result. I have deliberately tried both, and I realized that, yes, it is true. The number one thing you should not do when using a scent leave is, take, for example, you are doing the boiling method. You boil, make sure you boil it with enough water that you will use. Don't dilute it with cold water again. Instead, allow it, put it down, allow it to get cold. Then you can proceed to use it. Don't add cold water to it again. The second mistake we make when using a scent leaf is removing it entirely from the steam. From the stem, this is the stem, right? Removing the scent leaf and using only this is a mistake. When next you are using a scent leaf for spiritual purpose, please, when you either you buy it in the market or you plug it yourself, use it, boil it with this, please. Boil it with this. Then if you are doing the squeezing method whereby you don't boil it, put allow a little of this into it and squeeze everything, then you see. Then you see another mistake we make is when you buy scent leaf for spiritual purpose is you trying to wash wash it wash off the dirt or how you know some of you are extra neat how do they call it um you have a phobia or how do I so you don't need to start washing it no you don't need that best time to plug scent leaf if you are plugging it yourself is from 5 a.m to 6 p.m five sorry 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 from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you are plugging it yourself. And before you plug any leaf, endeavor to speak to the leaf. Like pleading. There are spirits that guard everything that is created by God. These things are harm. Just like um, biology taught us, right? They have life. <laughs> Let's not go into that. So, another thing you should do is. Okay, speak to it while you are plugging it, and then again, when you are using a scent leaf to bats, please, except most cases where it is required, I have bought boiled scent leaf with other herbs, but sometimes it's very, very important that you boil it alone, you use it alone. If there's anything you're going to be adding, if need be, maybe salt or the alligator pepper now allow the scent leaf to boil if you are boiling it allow it to boil very well for you to be able to get the color the aroma you know scent leaf has this inviting and beautiful aroma so these are a couple of mistakes we make and reason why scent leaf don't work for us by god's grace if you can correct these little mistakes i tell you you will get the best out of scent leaf Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's none other person but Gloria Cheesy. Oh, thank you.